In the heart of challenges, where differences have kept communities apart, a bacon of hope emerges. Welcome to the story of Separate West Nile's transformative intervention, a journey towards building peace and fostering social cohesion. The fruits of peaceful coexistence, communities of diverse backgrounds living side by side. Such is now a pleasant picture in Mvepi, Palorinya, and Rhino Camp refugee settlements in the Western region of Uganda. Continuous insurgencies in the neighboring DR Congo and South Sudan have displaced hundreds and thousands of people over the years. Fortunate, perhaps, Uganda's open arm policy towards refugees means more than a million of these fleeing people now call West Nile home after seeking solace in their neighboring country. However, the rosy picture of peaceful coexistence did come from the blue, but was a result of concerted efforts to eliminate the rampant community conflicts among communities. Uh, Jean Pierre is my name. I work for Office of the Prime Minister in the capacity of uh, Assistant Community Service Officer, and I'm the focal person for, for peaceful coexistence. And when Shepard, as an organization, came to support us in the settlement of Rhino Camp, we had quickly to direct them to go and help us in the peace building activities in the Tika Zone. And uh, we decided to take Tika Zone, or else we decided to give Tika Zone to Shepard simply because Tika had a number of issues which really needed to be handled with a lot of care. I may refer you slightly to 2018 incidents where, where there was a problem between the host community. Actually, not 2018. 2018, yes, there was a problem. And the problem in 2018 was a, a very minor issue that led to loss of four lives. Then again, in 2021, I think, was when there was also another issue between the host community and the, and the refugees. Unfortunately, we lost 10 lives. And I attribute this to no proper partner by then to implement for us peace building activities. Manvi noche ndi reke tika iri i tika na e tika su i denga pudi sepad west nali mu tika deko ema activity se ba kiam bazo ngringre atala di mudiare ko vola lero atala refugi pudi national pibele abi temu keko alo kini ojo tida bi techi Jonan Balo, uh Jonan Biri, resources, and kwa fata mine partners bini e uh can be a dedicate, refugee fi mazega ki afariki, ba eki any refugee pini, leki ama ta hostel kill a mayu kafariki ko. So in most cases si misu or ko ama the kaki mu uh for instance if uh water point be a can kuit se misu uh kaki choko, then refugee ka kacha volero, if you chiko kwa you e y di boko. Ani yer andi tumsing green green fe bad masitaga. Ah, thank you so much. Uh, I'm called Hussein Haruna Musa, uh, the RWC one chairperson for Tika two and three. Uh, I've been serving as an RWC one chairperson since 2018. Uh, we had a project uh, with uh, Sepa the West Nile. Uh, that uh, that project was basically a peace uh, initiative project uh, in our zone. Four years that I've been here, uh, we have been seeing. Uh, a lot of fightings. Thank you so much, uh, Sepat West Nile, uh, for coming to Mvepi Refugee Settlement, more special Zone 1. Uh, I'm calling Mukulia Joseph, uh, formerly the Ruasi 2 chairperson for Zone 1, but currently I'm the Ruasi 3 youth representative. Uh, about Sepat, uh, when they intervene in, uh, we are brought uh, for the issue of Mvepi Refugee Settlement. Mvefi refugee settlement was established in 2017. That's when uh, we, the refugees, settled here in Mvefi refugee settlement. And uh, when, before when SEPA intervened in, there were so many things, like issues of land, 
issues of uh, the peaceful coexistence was not all that fine, most especially with the host community. The Community Empowerment for Peace West Nile, Separate West Nile, a non-government, non-profit making organization was particularly instrumental in the quest to attaining lasting peace. Separate West Nile introduced a robust method in which all conflicts were resolved through non-violent means with respect for rights for all people, especially women and girls taking center stage. Separate has been implementing 18 months project titled Promoting Intercommunity Engagement for Peace, Reconciliation and Social Cohesion. And this project was implemented across three settings. And then we have 50 settlements in the third of the street. Rhino Company, 50 settlements in the third of the street, and Valorinia, 50 settlements in the third district. The objectives of this project one was to enable an environment in which uh, the rest of the existing peace can thrive. Secondly, to timely respond to issues in the community. To cement the gains, Separate West Nile also introduced capacity building measures to empower the communities towards a more resilient and self sustaining society. I'm called Alice Christine. I'm a Peace Club member from Chika Zone. Particularly, I work in Udraku village as a Peace Club member. And also at the same time, uh, I'm also a member of a woman forum who has been trained by Sepad West Nile. So I'm very happy for this intervention that Sepad has been carrying out. I've been trained uh, in so many aspects. Uh, we did formation of Peace Club members and I happens to be one of the member. So in that work, we are doing a peaceful coexistence between the nationals and the refugees. The formation of the Peace Club members was both not only the refugees and not only the nationals, all of us were in that formation of their group. I'm called Munga Sicily. I'm from Coast Side. And there my position is I'm secretary for LC1. So I was in training with the SEPAD, whereby we, they started giving for us training of a, a conflict resolution. Uh, secondly, they give training about peace, dialogue, and reconciliation. Uh, thirdly, they also give for us training of leadership, that is women. So we have a lot of things there among those things. We have even... Uh, ending by doing some dramas which can make us to go in the field and do it to change the mind of the community. Uh, Separate uh, West Nile also came with an intervention of peace. Uh, that has changed a lot uh, with us. One of the interventions that we had was uh, the land laws. Uh, as refugees, we didn't know how the land is supposed to be used. The, the laws governing the land, we didn't know. Changes soon become evident after the project rollout. Violent conflicts decrease, a great reduction in recorded cases, men and women embrace togetherness, fostering gender equality. When uh, Tepard came in, uh, we are able to sit together with the host community uh, regarding of meetings, dialogues. They taught us about uh, gender based violence and how drug abuse it is and how it can cause in the community. And uh, I think SEPAD uh, have improved our lives so much, especially me, I used to, by then I used to take too much alcohol. When I take, uh, I, I make conflicts. I used to fight with my friends. And also sometimes I chew marungi, but this time I think <coughs> my life have improved better. Ojatana mbalore, he decides to move. What a point be a misu. But understand it, kira. But chapi okore, he di mai baraka, then a chapi vuler di mai bando. And then in the midst of life, my impact is even the man nere. And he di chua se mine a refugee ski, host community be baraka alo. Then, as the refugees in the Americas, community people, 
through interventions uh, separate West Nile and Kibe. Uh, under intervention of Koko, he was at Lenny Kyo. Through the training that I attended, uh, at least it has changed me and also it has changed my husband. You can now not even hear that Christine and the husband have been quarreling. You cannot hear this time even fighting or quarreling or sharing bad words. There's, it's not there because uh, all these uh, activities, all these dialogues that we have been doing, uh, all these trainings on peace, all these activities have changed my home. We want a separate to, to continue with the program to, to continue with the intervention so that some women who are outside they also know what is peace, what, what is the meaning of the word peace. Uh, nevertheless, I can still say that uh, from the previous time that we, uh, the previous time before the, the uh, intervention, we have been facing a lot of conflicts. Uh, currently, uh, the, the, uh, you know, currently the conflicts have, have reduced. But I can still say that not all the conflicts have gone. Uh, uh, the intervention has been for a shorter period of time, a year and plus. We are requesting if funds could allow, the donors could give us more funds so that the projects, the, co the projects keep on moving forward. In togetherness, the communities are now focusing on common challenges like income generating activities and general economic well-being. The future promises so much with such a focus. By name, called for that training and that training has helped me. That training has helped to me there. Before I didn't attend that training, I was not, I was not to able to do something. But since I attended it, I really am now having that skills. They, they taught that about business, how to start. Before you start, you ask yourself why, then how. Why? Because we want to achieve your goals. Separate West Nile as an implementing organization acknowledges these common challenges and are too working tirelessly to overcome them in any project. We had one of the challenges as a prioritization of the other issues where people were divided in categories. Not all these categories they see in the issues. This was a hindrance to this project in that uh, most people who were not the category of the scene uh, and challenge they were attending for activities, mostly because uh, our approach was the behavior change approach, mindset change approach, where we are talking for social change, so it doesn't, it doesn't involve material gains. Secondly, we had the challenge of uh, issues of seasonality, with the issue of bad roads and the changing weather patterns. Uh, the project implementers, especially the project officers and the community based mobilizers faced challenges accessing some places where they need to be living. That's a place in the nation which in turn, not fully, but it affected us. Separate West Nile's outstanding performance in Tika, a place with history of conflicts, has been duly noticed by the Office of the Prime Minister, OPM. However, there remain serious concerns as projects draws to close. GNPR from OPM says Tika zone being a receiving zone needed constant peace building activities to cater especially for the new arrivals. From when Separate came on board, we were able to realize a positive change in terms of peaceful coexistence of the refugees. But now we imagine a situation where separate is living because of the financial resources, which is not enough for them, which makes them to say, okay, their resources are enough, please OPM have these activities done. The transformation has been possible through the generous funding of the donors Beneficiaries and implementers alike are full of gratitude. Uh, all in all, I'll, I'll appreciate uh, the donors uh, that gave uh, that gave uh, that supported separate with the with the funds to implement this project here. This project to expand, to proceed for many years, I think uh, the community will appreciate. We leaders, we are going to appreciate because. Project is more, 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 much enjoyable here in the community. We thank donors like the Federal Foreign Office, 
which dispersed these funds through IFA to Shepherd Western Highway. We are very hopeful that in the future coming, more collective efforts made in terms of embedding in livelihood useful for existence activities such that uh, communities fully realize the need to exist peacefully as we as they do livelihood activities hand in hand. From the terrifying testimonies of violent conflicts to many happy tales of unified people, separate West Nile intervention have clearly sown seeds of lasting peace, leaving behind a legacy of acceptance and a vision of a healthier and happier.